purpose of this tip and trick is to add additional information to a standard title block. In this instance, we're going to add in an image. Right click on ISO, go Edit Definition. It'll bring up the original sketch that was created to define the title block. I'm going to click on the Image button and go and choose an image um, to bring in. This image needs to be a bitmap, by the way. Um, I'm then going to resize this a little bit just so that it's more in proportion to what I'm trying to achieve. And I'm going to add in a rectangle to the title block. And I'm going to quickly put in some additional constraints. There we go. And a dimension just to define the actual size of this new addition to the title block. And I'm then going to resize and move the title block using the grips on the image. Once I've got the image resized, click on Finish Sketch, Save ISO Edits, and you'll see that the image is now displayed on the title block. I'm going to go back in here quickly, and I'm going to add in some information. I'm going to bring in a one of the eye properties from the model. So I'm going to click on Text, and I'm going to tell it that the text type I'm looking for is Physical Properties Model. I want Mass, and I'm just going to click on the little down arrow over there and it brings through the equation. I'm now going to add a bit of text in front of that just to identify it on the title block. So I'm going to have mass and say OK. You'll now see that mass is shown and the equation comes through as well. Finish the sketch, say yes to saving the edits, and you'll see that the equation disappears for now. If I bring a model into the title block, so place a base for you, choose a component, you'll see as soon as I place that component in, the mass automatically updates.